Good morning and welcome to another installment of me, Mr. Joker of the Evil Gaming Clan. This is my YouTube channel. Gotta pimp that too. So, today, I am bringing you a horizontal piston elevator or pusher. Mega pusher, as I call it. Um, I'd also like to take the time to go ahead and say thank you to uh, YouTube's Loompa87, as he is the one who provided the original design in his video here. And I merely cleaned it up and optimized it. So, we'll get right down to it. Horizontal piston elevator. Currently I have 10 pistons, 10 empty spaces. We are going to extend these. And now, we would like them to come back. Flip the switch, that enables the system. Hit the power button and watch them suck themselves back into their original positions. Yay! Takes a second, but it is actually fairly quick, optimized. Almost done here. And there we are completely retracted to their starting positions. As you can see, I also have a left and a right hand version ready to go for everyone. Again, same thing. Push the button, pistons go out. Flip the switch. Send a pulse. It's slowly races around and sucks itself back into its starting position. Just, uh, I guess to help everyone figure out how this is working, wait till it's done here. Go ahead and shut it off. When we extend them, we're hitting that, which sends them all out. It's set up to an inverter, so that way they're off normally and don't interfere with any of our other circuitry. When we want to bring them back in, first thing we need to do is enable the main lever here. That's hooked up to this AND gate, which allows this current to go through and cycle back. When you first start your cycle to bring them back in, it sends a pulse down this yellow, which in turn hits all of the pistons. Then it goes down this orange rail and fires on an alternate course than the one above it. That one goes all the way down which hits the red wool and depowers that torch which in turn allows this torch to power and then the system continues. When you're done simply click the lever and it can no longer cycle. Now I've also built in a feature for anyone like me who will be using this to condense TNT into a cannon. I just put this wall up here to show you a place to put drop sand down. Most fully automatic cannons use sand or gravel because gravity affects them and so they can fall into place and move along to help fill their TNT cannons and move the TNT into firing position. The problem with this is when you reload your cannon you're left with all this sand and gravel that you don't know what to do with. 
What I've created here is a very simple mechanism that completely wipes out 99% of any sand or gravel. So, <laughs> go figure. Ah, uh, yes. So, these two gates cycle on the same system that the pistons cycle on when they're retracting. We'll go ahead and start that cycle to show you. And the last couple of pistons will keep doing this. But as you can see, these doors keep popping. And as these doors flick back and forth, they destroy the sand. Open up and let the sand fall into the lava trap below. Once in a while you might get a timing issue just like that where the piston will push it. Small price to pay for a full automation. And it's self-clearing helps take care of some of these. If by chance uh, sand falls while these doors are open, I'm stuck. There we go. It'll continue down below, but it'll get caught up on the torches down there, and it'll again pop and turn into an entity, and more than likely fall into the lava. So. There's my horizontal piston. Oh, I do gotta cover the modular pieces. This allows you to build your own using MC Edit. This is the starting block piece with the control grid and the rails going out. This is the middle, the filler piece. You can put in as many of these as you'd like and make it as long as you'd like. And then simply cap it off with this piece. And again, you can go as long as you'd like. Uh, the only thing that, you know, lag, redstone signal, so on and so forth, it gets a little choppy, but it will work. Thanks again. This has been Evil Mr. Joker.